For a while now, curiosity has left many of us wondering what role New York State would play in Donald Trump's eventual demise, but based on subpoenas it just issued, it appears we may finally have our answer. According to the New York Times, late in the day on Monday, the New York Attorney General's office took Michael Cohen's testimony and issued subpoenas to Deutsche Bank and Investors Bank for records regarding several specific transactions involving Donald Trump and the Trump Organization. Considering Trump's rumored fraudulent relationship with Deutsche Bank was already a focus of the investigation, the news of the subpoena is sure to get the president's blood boiling. However, the most interesting thing about this news is how tactfully it was deployed. Rather than trying to seize all of the records in order to decipher the crimes within them, it's clear that New York State is already staring those crimes directly in the face. Take Cohen's publicly testimony, for example. In it, he let it be known that Trump falsified his financial situation while attempting to secure a loan to buy the Buffalo Bills football team. Ironically, that just so happens to be one of the transactions subpoenaed by New York State. If there is any uncertainty as to how telling and damning this move by New York State is, perhaps these words from the New York Times article will alleviate it the inquiry by Ms. James' office is a civil investigation, not a criminal one, although its focus and scope were unclear. The Attorney General has broad authority under state law to investigate fraud and can fine, or in extreme cases, go to court to try to dissolve a business that is found to have engaged in repeated illegality. Look out, Trump! New York State is coming for you.